Hello, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Foundation, our medieval city building game. We are here in our city of Kalir, and happy times are upon us. Our happiness is up to 96. We have plenty of fish for the rainy seasons, which might come up at any point of time. My little puppy is snuggling under my feet. And we have an update. We have some new things going on here. The first new item is this crane area. So, uh, this, the mining zones have this crane, which actually here we haven't placed any cranes. So, I guess this would be a nice place for us to show off the cranes. These cranes have a resource depot as well along with them which is kind of good for us because we can store the mined or do you say mined or quarried the quarried uh, limestone uh, marble in this case right next to it over here so let's start construction there that's a little bit of extra storage which we'll get and let's quickly come down to the gold have we started getting gold out yet no we have not that's our gold over there. Uh, I don't recall. Yes, there it is. We have actually marked it out for extraction. So let's wait for this to extract some of this out. Uh, we have one person assigned. So let's get one more of wood. If I can find it, there it is. So that's another slot of wood. Now, in the meantime, what else has happened? We've got dairy here, which is hopefully churning out some cheese and we have some hunters over here who hunt for wild boar in these forests which is good all good so our money is a little bit less well it just jumped up a little bit i have no idea why um maintenance cost is pretty high actually because we have a couple of things going on we have high territory cost as well but then our villager consumption is pretty high and we've got a little bit in the way of trading income as well so last week we made a net loss of 200 but then this week seems like we are doing much 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 better oh the automaton the birds are up there in the sky just floating around i guess they're they're constructing it they're going through the motions of it do we have free people whoa we have a lot of unemployed which means we can actually get in and start doing some of our stuff so before we start putting people in places let's just see which of our locations need people yes uh visit of a minstrel in our tavern has inspired they wish to build a lush garden masterpiece right we will do that shortly there's a lot of new stuff that they've added to the game right now uh stuff like you can make music right now uh we will check out all of those the first thing of course is the little uh promotions you are the devil aren't you lush garden masterpiece is available masterpieces in the village is three of three so i guess there is a limit on that so that's fine uh for the time being at least uh but yeah so the first new change which we have is this the quarry crane which actually has a little bit of storage space as well over here so that's the first thing and then they've introduced a lot of names they've introduced a lot of names you fami christiane riguccio that's a lot of names so there are like thousand plus names probably in the tens of thousands i'm not exactly sure of the number but 
in any case uh, it doesn't seem like we will run out of names anytime soon added to that there's a bunch of animations which have been added a bunch of other stuff as well so all that's fine and good i guess our money is a little bit reaching its limit so i'm wondering if we need to get another treasury over here if we can i mean why not is the question so this was the building which we had so we can actually have one more over here i guess so let's do that for example actually let's delete you well, let's left click so and let's get you over here right so let's get you there start construction and then let's have another treasury put in there uh this road is pretty good this is pretty good they are getting they are cutting the trees down here which is fine and dandy um let's see can we get anything else here there's a trade bonus here 20 percent with villages of allegiance there all right sure there's a trade bonus here uh one more trade bonus here which we will get eventually i guess there's an envoy who's marching in right now he's trotting in not marching he's trotting this is a new alpha build i think it's called 1.6 you guys can see the number here i can't because there are some icons over there for me but nonetheless there are some updates uh more and more people are joining us which is giving us shortages for certain things uh, the sheep and clothes, there's a shortage. Houses, there's a shortage. So let's have a look at our housing situation right now. We actually have plenty of room to grow for houses. It's just a matter of the desirability going up. So what do you want, Mr. Envoy? Let's get rid of this. Click on you. You need bread, um, sure. Who do I need to? Actually, let's take this decision based on trade. Uh, what are we selling at the moment? We are selling fish, I'm not sure. We are selling berries for sure. Oh, they are selling this. Mm -hmm. So we are selling planks. We need planks, which is what we're selling. So we need allegiance to the hammer does is is this how it works i'm not sure but let's activate that nonetheless i am going to make my phone silent because you guys just heard it vibrate and that is something that i prefer you do not hear right so now coming on to this road i guess the next thing which we want to do is we want to get a market down here so if we get a market over here on this side, then we can zone some houses around. That might be something good for us. So let's jump into the market and let's place it over here as the center. We need a bunch of food stalls. Like we need a lot of food stalls. So let's get one here. Let's get one here. And let's also get one food stall here, right next to the bridge. It's too far. What's that about? Okay. So let's get you guys here then, I guess. All right. So that's four food stalls. Let's get a good stall. Actually, let's get two good stalls because we will pretty soon be having some other goods i guess although i don't know what goods are so maybe we want to get some luxury let's do that let's get a luxury stall here right and let's get some tents luxury is obviously going to be red this is green and food's going to be the blue tents for this so let's get some food stall signs i guess let's get one here let's get one here 
one over here one over here and this is for the goods let's get it in here and this is for luxury let's get you over here what else do we need we can have barrels we can have all sorts of stuff do we want to have those here not at the moment maybe later on so let's start building this area another thing which i will need is a church over here although people are not complaining about a church i might just want a ch i i think we decided we'll have a church up in here so that might be good so let's wait for that uh these people are cutting down them trees real fast there is a lot of demand for wood i guess is it because some of the other extraction zones are getting over probably this extraction zone is getting over there and let's quickly jump in here to see the territorial boundaries to see if we have enough trees well actually see that's the problem so let's pause the game and let's get rid of this because that's useless now let's get rid of this because this is useless too and there was a lumberer here yeah so let's close you let's get you and let's destroy you yes please delete you uh i want to have a lumberer here to get rid of all of this so let's go in here where are you lumber camp and let's place you over here actually want one on this side so start construction here and let's extract all of this all of this yes all of this as well so this is what's going to be producing most of our wood right now i just want to clean up all of this wood don't want any of this wood here right so where else do we have a lumber camp didn't we have one over here somewhere we have one here so let's get rid of you as well delete you what who was getting this somebody was getting this i hope or there's just one tree there which they can get for sure actually it's not necessary right now i want to move all my lumber out of the way we could have a lumber camp over here but we'll need to get a bridge around here this way actually that might not be such a bad idea might want to expand up here eventually there's a lot of trees up there hmm interesting although just clearing out all these trees might help us so let's do one thing let's get another lumber camp over here side by side two lumber camps and let's go let's play so once those two lumber camps are done i guess all the lumberers will be allocated to this oh yes and let's just get you so that we have the entirety of this island and let's extract all of your trees don't want any trees in here cuz you going to become a city you are going to become a stone city if i can help it so this this is like this this is why we are doing this this forest is thinning out a little bit too much for my liking and i would like to repopulate this a little bit more uh we might want to get a bunch more of these i think all this is fine right uh wool is what's wool is not a problem there's enough wool actually so maybe we just need more of these shirts and what not so wool becomes cloth over here and then cloth becomes clothes over here so if we can trace what stockpile we have that might actually help us we have 100 cloth here we have 90 wool so cloth is not a problem i guess we just need another tailor's hut so let's do that then let's go in here get a tailor's workshop and put you here that's fine that should give us a decent jump over there 
hopefully hopefully desirability is pretty high in all these places we are just waiting for all of these to get constructed if this gets constructed i mean i don't know how much it's going to help but this this is surely going to help this is going to boost desirability in this entire area and hopefully we're going to get plenty of houses there plenty of them uh they lack water people lack water is there a place which will help me see if people have water i mean i don't think so so maybe it's time for us to drop down a bunch of wells uh well here wouldn't be so bad we have a well over here or uh, we don't have a well here so a well actually let me get desirability off that was an off yeah that was off and let's see how okay so there's a well there there is a well here which i just placed and there's no well here there's no well anywhere here so maybe we can place a well up in here we can have a well here behind and where else do we have our houses we have a bunch of houses here there's a well over here there's no well over here uh, maybe a well here would be good because it will protect them against that a well here might be good because it might protect them against that desirability hit over there and we will need some wells over here so maybe i'll place a well here and i'll place a well here well 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 another two more wells because there's a bunch of wells that we placed that's good four people were going and nobody decided to join us that's fine uh we have a lot of wells one village just two villages lack wells but then hey we've got plenty of them so there it is that's our little city and no i'm not i'm not like closing the game now but i am just marveling at our city so the tailor shop is done so let's assign batistina that's a nice name batistina to that and hope that that boost that is actually i mean i hope that's what's boosting our numbers for clothes it is it surely is right so our shops are coming along they are getting constructed um the woodcutters this one is let's prioritize the woodcutters actually and i feel like there's going to be a lot of construction going on here so it might be a good idea to get like a builder right over here so they can cross over and build anything over here or actually a builder here might be a good idea because if i'm going to develop this area as well a builder here might be much better place i hope you can hear my dog snoring cuz it's sweet it's just so cute but yes my dog is snoring she's got this really low drone snore that she has it's very sweet Alonso, Tedrick, and Matheline. That's nice names. It's nice that they have all these names. Yeah, you know, it's like after a point, you feel like the game is reaching its limit when um, you know the names run out, and it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're like, oh my god, what's happening? Bailiff, you need a mandate. Take it. please take it this is complete so we can assign this to be another treasury which will give us uh 150 that's it that's all it gives us hmm did it always give us that less i don't know an envoy is requesting our audience hey envoy what do you need this time you need berries Let's give it to the clergy. 
send them berries. We got some stuff in return. That's good. Uh, gold. I will need to start golding you. Right? You are just cutting nothing, aren't you? Do you have people? Thryston, Rafredo and Heinrich. And you have Barbara, Rupert and Anus here. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Anus. Doesn't matter if you're Anus. Uh, berries, bread and what? Cheese. So maybe I'm gonna go cheese here. Assign one. I'm gonna go fish here. Assign one. Fish and cheese is maybe it's a good combination. Who knows? We need bread for sure. And we will need berries for sure. There's gonna be a berry bush here, so that's fine. And you will have clothes, obviously. Do we not have enough people? Are you serious? That's so cute. Herbs, gems, honey, and jewelry. I think we will go with jewelry. Although we won't have anybody there for the time being, but jewelry has to be here because we have gold. So we're going to be setting up a jewelry, whatever, whatever over here. Right. So let's look at our populace. Everybody's full. That's fine. A bunch of wells just got completed. So we should be having good desirability effects all over the place. That's fine. Uh, our cost is kind of high, but that's okay also. Two new villagers have decided to join us. So I can basically send somebody here to be Let's look at the desirability because I feel like we can build houses in this area. Yep, so we can have some houses here. So let's do that. Let's go here. No, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go here and let's get ourselves some houses. Get rid of desirability. Oh yes, I forgot. I can't get rid of desirability when I'm in the housing menu because by default it shows me the desirability overlay when I'm in housing. Right, bunch of houses are coming up. That's good. Houses here are fine. We will need a granary here, close to here. Do granaries have negative desirability is the question. Um, I don't know. Doesn't seem like the granary actually has negative desirability. It's these buildings which have negative desirability. Yeah, see the granary doesn't have that much of a negative effect. So it might be good for us to have a granary right here, right behind, possibly here or here. I mean, it is a good idea to have a granary for sure. Our foot traffic here is increasing, which is fine. Oh, so many things that we need. We need food. We need churches. Houses as well. So we decided that we were going to get a church up in here. Custom fountain, stone bridge. All right. So we wanted to get a church here, right? So we can have a core like so. And we can have another core attached to it because this is going to be a 
kind of big church i guess it's going to be like a long church this has two cores as well but it's side by side so i guess this will have three cores then just to make it you know fancy a big tower or do we want a small tower Do you want a round tower? That might be good. We haven't had a round tower yet. Should we make this church actually taller? No. It's not going to give us any advantages. So, why make it taller than necessary? Uh, let's get a normal extension first and then let's get this extension up in here and let's have a gargoyle sitting up top actually let's have the gargoyle sitting up top here let's have you here and an archway so we have an archway here we can have stone walls go around or maybe we just don't need them stone walls this is interesting i mean just because it looks interesting i guess although it serves no purpose right now except if we have another tower here that might be interesting so we could have like this tower over here with the bell so that would be like an arch with a tower on one side and a bell on the other i guess could be interesting just about making it interesting at this point some funky little church over there okay so i can get you over here and then i can have you come and join up like so and i can have you here like this so i can probably make this into a treasury or something i guess i hope i don't know and we can have a doorway here but that door would only lead to this right cuz yeah it doesn't make really any sense so we could have like a door over where all that doesn't make sense we need to have like a door attached to this attached to the very well attached to the church here so this would be the entrance of the church then so we can have another doorway here so that's two doors leading into the church and that's actually a really long church sure why not 
I need 200 gold coins up front for this. Oh my God, that's expensive. That's an expensive construction. But let's indeed get into that. Let's see how bad it was last month it was 259 in the red. That's fine. Oops, what happened to the house? It's down to 73. Uh, lacking food. So food seems to be an issue for us. Why are you an issue food? Do we have, yeah, we have a bunch of unemployed. All right, some people did leave their jobs, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can have you later. There's a soldier who left. Do we need gold? We do need gold actually. A monk, a monk, sure monk. That would give us some gold I imagine. But let's slow down a little bit and let's get an understanding of our food situation. Um, seems like we are a little bit low on berries. Wonder why that is. And we are a little bit low on bread as well. Although we should have enough. We don't. We don't have enough fish. That's interesting. So let's jump in here and let's see if we can get a bunch more of these gathering huts. So we could use a gathering hut here. So let's have one there. And where else can I have you gatherers gather berries for me? That berry bush is taken care of. There was some berry bushes here. Oh yes, there was like a gold mine of berry bushes there. That could be like a jam factory. You know, I could have one, two, three, four, five berry bushes if I just unlock this one little tile. Do I have? I don't have enough money for that. Okay. Um, there's a berry here, which is outside my territory, unfortunately. That's it. That's all the berries I have. Okay. That's devastating. Uh, Right, I could have multiple places harvesting berries from the same bush, I guess. That's definitely possible. Do we want to do that already is the question. I don't feel that I have to. Not at this moment. There's some fish here, so we could actually have some fishing places here. Like we could have like two fishing places here. Do they affect desirability is the question. They don't seem to. So we could get a bunch of fishing places over here. Let's go here. Let's go into fishing huts. I think they're called or fishing something, something with fishers huts. There they are. So we could get like four here. Yeah, so that's going to give me fish from here and uh, we have two farms. We might need a few more farms. How good are you guys? You have enough wheat, you're producing flour, you have enough flour and water. You will be producing bread. 
do we have backup here for all of that that's an iron smelter not what i was looking for you have no wheat whatsoever uh i will open you to berries just so if you are done then i can have berries go in there we can have a farm here i hope can we no this is full this is full this is all full so i need to open this harvest some trees and then i'll have space in the interim i could have a couple of farms here one farm here for example one farm here there's actually plenty of room here for having farms uh but is that our problem i don't know maybe so let's get ourselves two wheat farms one over here and let's get ourselves another wheat farm over here we don't have cash we don't have cash ladies and gentlemen but that's fine we will get it soon enough so let's go up in speed we are used to our happiness fluctuating like it's nobody's business so i guess that's what's happening again it's just a fluctuation of our happiness should be fine uh you need another 75 Oh, is it there? Is it there? Is it not? Oh, oh, surprise! So yes, um, seems like we are going through the motions again. Uh, we are up to seventy-five, seventy-six. That's good. Uh, we are maybe we are fixing some of our issues. Issues with respect to uh, food and what not that we have. So this is our little market street which we are building here in this luxurious part of town. We will need a granary close to here. Right on top of them stones. cuz i'm not going to harvest those stones no sir uh let's jump in here and check out our residential and just remove the residential out of here just for i don't know what you call it continuity or uniformity whatever you might want to call it just for the sake of that a bunch more houses over here and yes once the church comes this whole area is going to be lit quite literally <laughs> promotions are available i am not going to give a uh, much in the way of promotions to our people I am just waiting for this to get cleared so that we can have our gold mine here at last and develop some jewelry and just have like plain gold because we like gold. Why are you not churning? A granary is a pretty empty. which is worrying actually i don't understand why we're not getting enough fish like we have some fish but not like a lot of it are people stuck or something a villager has arrived there are some who have left because of unhappiness okay that again It's the rains again market trader I mean they introduced some filtering techniques but there seem to be no filtering techniques here yet for us to see where exactly we need people there's a bunch of soldiers who left we have just 7 right now so we have such a huge 
keep but we just have seven soldiers seven full time soldiers we have a lot of part time soldiers so let's get you guys prioritized i mean berry production is going to go down for sure but fish on the other hand will not so might be a good idea for us to get all of this fish actually you know what i might just delete you cuz that's prime real estate why don't i get a granary up in here nestled right here and make you residential again yeah that should be fine all this should be great see like in this color combination i can actually see where the residential ends and um, yeah gathering huts complete so let's assign our gatherers over here once the fishing place is done i will assign some fishers over there fishers <laughs> oh my this is getting depopulated really fast all this is selected for extraction so why the hell are you guys going all the way over to the mainland to actually get your wood i do not understand because there's plenty of wood over here for you to harvest in and around here do i have a wood cutters over here i don't do i have any over here I don't seem to Well that's a lot of marble See this wood is just getting depleted so fast Is one forester not enough Is the reforestation zone gone no it's not gone one forester doesn't seem to be enough over here so let's get another forester scam in here over here we are in need of some mula some cash for well, foods fine it's not the best housing's fine again it's not the best I love how this has become like the main road cutting through the farm. <laughs> anyway. So, church is almost done. I don't think we'll be having trouble there. This is done. So, let's assign fishermen over here. And this whole area is going to become residential nobody is building houses here right I forgot to time this episode so I actually don't know how long uh this has elapsed seems like it's around 40 minutes unfortunately so I'm going to put a quick cut in this video right now it is most definitely one of the longest videos that I've done but that should be fine uh do like and share and subscribe if you like the content I'm putting outside 
if there's any comments please do feel free to comment i love reading your comments and uh, do subscribe if you like the content so please join me pretty soon with the next episode until then take care now bye bye then